Welcome to Session Sunday. Hi guys, it's Jack Edwards and this week we're going to be focusing on a one-to-one -one session based around receiving skills. But before we get into this week's video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe and if you missed last week's video, click on the link above. Okay, so moving into the first part of this week's session, we're going to be looking at the first of our passing and moving sequences. So, but before we get into it, let's have a look at how, what equipment we've got this week and the setup for this part of the session. So in terms of equipment, okay, so obviously we're going to be using balls. If you have poles, Okay, we want to be using poles instead of cones, okay, because it gives the player something to move maneuver around. Because with the cones, it's just too easy for the player to stay near the cone or just move to the side. Where if it's if we're using poles or even mannequins, okay, it's give them something as if it's a defender or an opposition player to move away from to create that space. Okay, but if you don't, obviously you can use poles. And then if you obviously have a couple of if you maybe working with two players, the, one of the players can just take the place of the coach, or obviously you can have a rest period. So in terms of the setup for this part of the session, okay, so the two poles in the middle here, okay, they're gonna be five yards apart, okay? And then we're just gonna go further three yards back, okay? And then a further three yards wide, okay? Because we don't want the players having to move too much because we're gonna be going for a high intensity, okay? The repetitions are gonna be, you know, fairly long depending on obviously the player's age as well. And we want them to be able to do as many sets as we can. So what we're gonna be focusing on in this part of the session is setting and moving, okay? So creating them angles to play quickly and then we're gonna be moving off. So our receiving skills, obviously moving into space, okay? Scanning our surroundings, being aware of what's around us and then our, obviously our agility, balance, coordination and then we're gonna be working on a good first touch to play and then obviously you getting a bit of speed to build up to carry it on. So the ball's gonna start with the coach here. The player's gonna start on the line, okay? So we're gonna play a one-two Okay, as soon as the player has passed the ball, they're going to move out to the side. Okay, so it's a quick movement into space. Okay, so we don't want them standing right next to the pole, get themselves into space. It's going to be another one, two with the coach. Okay, and the player is then going to backpedal. So, first off, check the shoulder to see where the space is. They're going to backpedal on the outside again of this pole now. Okay, so they're moving beyond the, the defender or the opposition. Okay, the coach is then going to play a ball. Okay, for them to receive on the back foot. Okay, take the touch out and into space before playing back into the coach who will be in the middle. Okay, the player then moves back towards the middle again. Coach will play in, it gets set back, and then we move across the other side. Okay, so it's one touch again, setting back, moving into space again, receive on that back foot, take it into space playing. So we're working on our left foot, on our right foot, playing quickly, okay? And then we just carry the sequence on. You can go for as long as you want. You can maybe do five um, reps each side, okay, to start with. You can increase it. You can do maybe the player work for a minute, then maybe 90 seconds. So then when they're tired, they're still doing the same things. Because after a minute, obviously, the player's been working hard. They're constantly on the move. They've got to backpedal, and then they've got to get back forward. So it's telling them when it's late in the game, still doing the right things, still getting away into space, okay? Keep checking the shoulders, backpedaling, keeping those heels off the ground, okay? And then we still gotta have a good first touch into space to carry the sequence on. Okay, so for the players, obviously, at a younger age group, you're gonna focus on, obviously, maybe a couple of less reps, and we're gonna be focusing, obviously, on their execution, their passes, their first touch, and then look to focus on their movement, obviously, as we develop it on, okay? So we wanna try and master that technical side before looking at their movement. But then for older players, you wanna try and increase the speed, test them as much as you can with them first touch passes, try and put it in. And then for them, you want them to be playing nice, delicate passes back in so that the coach can and then enable themselves to play first time again and then this pass into here get beyond the pole okay so then you've got that first touch not taking it sideways but taking it into space okay so that they can move onto onto the ball okay to play in and then the drive and into space to get it again we will now move into our first animation before moving on to part two of this week's session Now moving into part two of this week's session, we're moving into our second receiving skills based drill. But what we're gonna be focusing on now is setting and moving, okay, to then open out and play through, either into a wide area or playing forward, okay? So the coach is gonna be here with the player based around this second pole. So what we're gonna have 
the coach is going to be a couple of yards away from the first pole here and the gap between these two poles here is just going to be one big yard really because we want the players moving in and out okay we don't want it too small where it's like it's too tight for them to move in but we don't want it being too big as well where it's too easy so the player's going to start behind, okay, and they're going to alternate what way they're going to go. So obviously the first time they can come through this way, the second time they're going to come through this way. So it's that out to in movement, okay, so then receive it. So we've got four different gates, so two on the left, two on the right, so two going forward. So again, these ones here can be five yards either side of this pole, okay, and the gate's just three yards. And again, we can do a further few yards up here but obviously we want to go forward another five yards and then we're going to do three yards again but on a diagonal okay so it's focusing on if our first touch takes us forward okay can we punch the ball through the lines okay if our first touch goes a little bit wide okay can we play through into wide area full backs into wingers whoever it may be so the ball starts with the coach so the player is going to come out and then come through to set set it back they're going to, going to travel through the same way again checking the shoulder on the way through they're going to receive it again Okay, and set it back to the coach. We want it to set it back so the coach moves onto the ball. Okay, they're then going to back pedal. Okay, beyond this further pole here, which is going to be four and four to between three to five yards away. So depending on the player's age, because it is a back pedal. The older they are, the more back pedal we want to go for. Okay, but it doesn't have to be too big. Okay, the coach will then play into the player here, whose first touch. Okay, they're going to move beyond the pole. Okay, they're going to take it into space, and then they're going to look to play through. So they're going to play through into a wide area here or they're going to punch the ball through. So on a nice positive touch. If the ball gets stuck under the feet, okay, just tell the player, relax, take another one out, but keep the intensity high and then play through. As soon as the player's played through, they make their way back into the middle. Always start behind this middle pole. Okay, we don't want them starting and just running straight through. Okay, so it's moving back in. Okay, so then we're getting that breath. Okay, that little rest period to then come back out again. So it's out in onto the ball. There we go, set it, back to the coach, get themselves back through, checking the shoulder again. Play back to the co play to the player again. Set it back to the coach. Instantly moves back. Okay, the coach can see when the player is about to get beyond that pole. Play the ball in. Okay, so we're working on both feet. Okay, the left foot and the right foot. Take the touch into space, and then we're looking to play through. And we carry that on until obviously, let's say you have six footballs. Until all six footballs are used, you might have eight, or you might just do smaller sets to start. Which you could do sets of four, then sets of six, maybe sets of eight. Okay, but obviously, if you have a certain amount of footballs, okay, you might do an extra couple of sets. And what you want to do is build build it up with the players. So the important thing we're trying to tell them is obviously scan them shoulders, okay? Being nice and nice and light on their feet, moving quickly, okay? And then that positive first touch to then execute the pass, keep the pass on the floor, okay? But drive it into space. We will now move into our next animation before moving on to the final part of this week's session. Are you a football coach or a player looking for sessions to deliver and practice with your team or as an individual? If so, head over to jackedwardscoaching.com now where you can access over 250 session plans with a full description, animation, setup, equipment and four corner model, plus more, as well as new content added every week. Okay, so moving into the final part of this week's session, we're moving into our final uh, drill based on our receiving skills. So we're going to be working off three different angles now. Okay, so it's our movement to receive the ball to take our first touch into space to then play through. Okay, so the setup, we're going to have one pole in the middle here. Okay, these two poles here are going to be two yards further down. So it's going to be two yards down and then we're going to go two yards across. We don't want to be going too far away because the player's movement is going to be going here first. So when they move, when they, get, when they receive the ball, we don't want them having to take the ball too far away from the body. And then it's just going to be two yards diagonally across here as well in terms of how far the poles are away from here where they're playing through just depends on the age you might want obviously with the younger players it's just being 10 yards away with all the players between 15 and 20 yards but again we're focusing on keeping the ball uh, on the floor so it doesn't have to be too far just make sure that they're pushing the ball through the poles in here so the first angle we're going to work off is off this side second angle is off the opposite side okay and the third angle will be as if they're receiving okay so coming sh um short to receive the ball so what we're looking for from the coach is when the player moves out into space, okay, we want them to play the ball just in front of the player. So when they move on to the ball, okay, they can 
take a positive touch out away from the body. The player doesn't have to take the ball completely through the poles, we just want them going towards it, okay? As soon as they see a route to pass, that's fine. The first touch is only small, okay, but it obviously it's on the back foot, it's in space. Take another touch out and then play through. So obviously here now, they've got two options. They're either gonna open out on the back foot, okay, and take the ball into space, or they're gonna look to meet the ball and take it back where it's come from, okay, to play through. So in terms of the sets for how long you want to do them for, again, you might have a certain amount of footballs that you want to use. You might want to start off quite small, doing sets of four, and then move into sixes and eights. And obviously, based on the player's age as well, you're going to focus on more about their technique and how they receive and, and move towards the ball. So obviously, you can slow it down and then look to increase the sets from there. So again, the player's going to start here every time. So they're looking to get into space to get away from a player, receive it, take the ball through, play, get back into the middle, okay? Always stop after each one, okay, so you can get themselves set, move again into space, come back onto the ball, take it into space, and play through. So again, moving into the opposite side, it will be the same again, except this time, obviously, we're changing around. When they're going through this gate now, it's taking it back where it came from. When they're going through this gate, it's opening out, so they're receiving on the back foot on the opposite side and taking the ball which came from on the opposite side. And then finally, okay, receiving back to goal. They've got two options, okay. You can either start the player behind, okay, the pole here, so they've got to come in front, or they can start here again. If they just want to move out to the side a little bit, okay, and not come too short, and take the ball by spinning, so quite good for a centre forward, we want them to spin, okay, using the outside of the foot. So obviously, if they're going to take the ball this way, we want them to spin in here and take it with the outside of the right foot, okay, so then lead on with the left. If they come through this way, we want them to take it with the outside of the, of the, of the left foot, so then play through with the right with the right foot. Why is that? Because they're protecting the ball and themselves. If they come in and take it with the inside of the foot, okay, the body's turned, which means that it's easy for the defender to get in there. Whereas if they use the outside of the foot, okay, they're still keeping that half of the body away from the defender whilst they're turning. Okay, so they're protecting the ball, there's more chance of a foul. The other option that the players can do is come short, so pull out into space here, so then receive on the back foot, take it into space, then they might need another touch to obviously set themselves to then play through. And obviously if they go the other way, it's coming out this way, receiving on the back foot, taking it into space, and then playing through. So you might say to the players, obviously, the first time they do it, can we receive on the back foot? Second time you do it, can we receive uh, coming in short, okay, to then spin out? And then obviously when you move into further sets, it can be both, so they can judge where they want to receive it. So that's where we're trying to get them to be commanding. Okay, so ask them for the ball at all times. Making sure they're scanning the surroundings, being aware of obviously where they want the ball. Okay, so when we're saying with the coach, when the player pulls out here, we don't want them playing it this side of the player, it's hard for them to receive. Playing it in front of the player, okay, so they can take it on that back foot, entice the defender in, use the speed on the ball to drive into space, and then look to play through and get back to the start to repeat it again. So obviously if they come in short here, protecting that ball, spinning into space, and then playing through there. We will now move into our final animation before concluding this week's session. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to head over to our website. The link is in the description below. And we'll see you next week for another Session Sunday.